Everything needs to be in y equals mx plus b form, just like yesterday, except the main thing is we have inequalities. So we're going to graph one inequality and shade lightly, and then we're going to graph another one and shade lightly. And let me show you what our answers are kind of going to look like. So they're going to look something like this. So you're going to have two shaded regions, and then where they cross over is like our solution area. Okay, it's not horrible. It doesn't take that long. Okay, so the first one, let's go ahead and get y by itself. So again, just like yesterday, try to be organized on what you're doing here. So this is equation number one and equation number two. So I'm going to start with number one, x minus 2y greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay, I want to get y by itself. What would you do first? Bring the x over to the other side. Perfect. So, oh, I'll show that Subtract. It's a positive x, so I want to do the opposite of that. Subtract the x. So, negative 2y greater than or equal to negative x minus 2. Okay, how do I get rid of the negative 2? Yes, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so I'm going to flip this. So I have y is less than or equal to positive 1 over 2x plus 1. And then box it. It's going to help if you can do this where you do your work and then box your equation. That way if you're getting it wrong, I can help you figure out what you're doing wrong. So let's go ahead and graph this one. That way you don't have to worry about all the shading in the end. Okay, so I start at positive 1 on the y-axis. And then just up 1 over 2. Yeah, I did mess up first. Okay, good stuff. Do that. Okay, that Remember with inequality, you have to look at, is it a solid line or a dashed line? So what is this one? It is solid because of the equal sign. So solid line. Okay, some of you are really good with the shading. I want to show you another way to figure out the shading. I just don't like it as much, but I still want to show you. So up here, maybe if you have some space on your paper. jump up. So what does that mean? That means if I start on the line and it's greater than, I jump up and I shade there. And then of course if it's less than, you jump down and you shade there. The problem is sometimes it's hard to tell, well are you jumping up or jumping down? So this one is a less than, so I have this, I jump down and then that's where I would shade. Does that make sense, what I'm saying? I'll say it one more time. So when you look at this equation, this is a less than symbol. It makes the L, if you want to make it with your hand, it makes the L less than. So less than means I jump down, and that's where I shade. You can also plug in zero, zero, like I showed you before. That was slow. Yeah, right there. Can you don't do it with how your final answer is? You like plugging in zero? No. In this time, it is. Because you keep pointing to the line up above. So I want to look at, after you simplified it, to the line that you're graphing. Well, okay. this one. Don't go to this. You see that? It's like a greater than, but we flipped it. Mm -hmm. So always go to your final line that you left. So then we'll graph the other equation. Okay, so second one. X <coughs> plus Y is less than or equal to negative 1. How would I solve for Y? y is less than or equal to negative x minus 1. So I start at negative 1. And I go down 1, over 1, in both directions. This is why you also want to shade lightly so you can just see all of your grid marks. Also a dotted line. I'm sorry. Also a solid line.
but if you want to do the new thing I was showing you, looking at less than or greater than, this is a less than symbol, so I jump down. So I go to my purple line that I just drew, and I jump down, so this all of this gets shaded. So you can see it's double shaded right here, so then I just darken all of this. That is your solution area, your solution set, where the two shadings overlap. Can you just do dash or um, No, because they both have equal signs. I did say dash, I did not say dash. Yeah, so remember here? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I want you to try number two when you're done with number one. I want you to get both equations y by itself. So try uh, number two, and then I'll put mine up in just a second. Are you good? Yeah. thirds and you have to graph that. Think of how many times does 3 go in 7? Twice. So since it's negative, I'm going to go just between negative 2 and negative 3 is all you have to do. Just hard to see, but. And then I have my slope, 4 thirds. So I just, instead of going each hash mark, I go in between each mark. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, 2, 3. Just in between the lines. Less than, so I go to the line, I jump down, which is shade underneath it. What? Like how you shade? Okay. Oh, yeah, I went in between negative two and negative three. It's just not right on the point. Okay, the second one. 
1, where it says y is less than 2, we've graphed y equals 2. How would I graph y equals 2? Through the y-axis or through the x-axis? Through the y. So it's a horizontal line. The only difference is because it is an inequality, there's no equal sign, it's going to be dashed. So through positive 2 on the y-axis is a horizontal line. says less than, so this one's nice and easy, jump down, everything underneath that line, and then you can see your double shaded area is all like this. Yes, this one, the second one should be dashed because there's no equal sign. The first one should be solid because there is an equal sign. Anyone still working on number three? equations on number four, what do you notice about these two? Yeah, their slopes are the same, so they're going to be parallel. So let's start with the first one. They're already y equals mx plus b form, so we don't have to do anything there. So let's start positive two and go up two over three. Line. So if I start on the line, is it greater than? Do I jump up or do I jump down? Up because it's greater. So everything above is shaded. Do I jump up or do I jump down? Down. It's less than. So when we're doing these, the solution is where they cross. So where do they cross? Nowhere. So our answer is no solution. The only thing I don't want you to assume is just because they're parallel lines, I don't want you to think that's always no solution on inequalities. Because you could have some where this is shaded above, this is shaded below, and the solution is the area in between the lines. Okay, it just depends on what the signs are. So don't assume it's no solution. Um, you don't even have to write all the numbers. It's just like any of these where we just darken it. That's all I would do. Like we just darken it. Okay. Last one. The only difference here is we have three lines. So we've already done a y equals, this one is an x equals. So which way does this line go, vertical or horizontal? Vertical. So x is greater than negative 2. So negative 2 on the x-axis is a dashed line. Now you can't jump up or down on this one. So look at this, it says greater than. This is negative 2. Is greater than negative 2 to the right on this number line or to the left? To the right. So just look at it like that and say, okay, well, if I was going to the right, pick a number. Is 5 greater than negative 2? Yes, it is. And plug it in. So the only 
only difference here is instead of having two shaded areas, we'll have three shaded areas. Okay, number two, I need to get y by itself. So I need to divide by three. Y is greater than four thirds. What's my y-intercept on this one? Zero. So I start at zero, zero, and then do my slope. So up four and over three. greater than, so if I go to the line, I jump up, so everything above the line is shaded. Now when I do two, or when I have three equations, I once I've done the second one and I see where the double shaded area is, sometimes I erase this, because else it just gets so messy it's hard to see. And my solution area has to be where all three cross. So sometimes I just do this, that way it doesn't get crazy. So my, I'm going to have something over here. Okay, so then I'm going to graph the third line, which is already done for us. So I start at positive 2. My slope is 2 thirds, so up 2 over 3. Uh, 2 over 3. The less than, so they jump down. So it's everything below this. I should not really care too much about any of that other stuff. I really just care about this little tiny area where all three of them cross. I'm just going to darken that little triangle. I think on your worksheet there's only one with three. So you don't, you don't have too many. They get a little bit crazy. 